Are you sure you want to do this? Well, I don't see any sense in putting it off any longer. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. No, wait. Close the door for a minute, please. Look, I, I know how tough this is for you. Now, if you want me to send them away, no, I can No, 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 do don't that. send them away. I just need a minute, that's all. Look, maybe we ought to wait. Let, let's wait until Clint is feeling better. That way, you two can handle this together. Court, it can't wait. And as a publisher, it's up to me to make this decision. The thing is, if I'm right, the banner will be saved. If I'm wrong, it'll be the end of us. No, no, I can't do this. Come Renee, on, let's Renee, go. no, we have to. Just relax. This is for a good cause. If we can get the DNA to prove that Max is Ace's son... Then... I know. No more Duane, no more blackmail. Exactly. Exactly. Hi, Andy. How you doing? Hi, Hey, we're just going to take this little table over there in the corner, okay? Over there. Okay. Okay. Great. Good seeing you. She's not wearing the locket. Oh, I saw that. How are we going to get it? I don't know. It's just a minor problem, so relax. Relax? How can you be so calm about this? Who's calm about this? I'm just practiced at being sneaky. Okay, now, are you sure that that locket has some of Andy's mother's hair in it, right? I told you. She showed it to me when I noticed that she was wearing okay, it. Okay, good. Then all we have to do is get Max's mother's hair, a sample of that, and compare it to Max's and Ace's, and everything's going to be okay. Okay, Renee, it's time to go into your act. Be convincing. I knew I recognized that voice. Not you again. Always a treat to see you, too, Dorian. Shall we set another place for dinner? Oh, no, don't bother. I just stopped by to bring a housewarming gift to my daughter. Well, if you don't mind, we're about to have dinner. We can set another place. Oh, so I can uh, watch him turn you against your own mother? No, thank you. Not stay right where you are, Dorian. <laughs> This time, here's where you go when it looks like the rain won't end. Don't cry. I'll give you tomorrow. Let me be the one to share with him. And each day that follows, cause we only have one life to live. One life to are you threatening me? Well, let her go. No, I want to get something straight with your mother. Oh, you know, a Cassie may be susceptible to your charms, but they're lost on me. Oh, there's a lot that's lost on you. Things like friendship. You don't understand the difference between somebody trying to help out a friend and driving a wedge between her and her family. Oh, those are beautiful words, Bo. But it's quite obvious that you've been brainwashing my daughter ever since she got here. I think I have a higher opinion of Cassie than you do. See, I know that she has a mind of her own. I couldn't control that even if I wanted to. Doesn't stop you from trying, does it? You know, the only one who's trying to control me around here, Mother, is you. How can you even say that? All I did was bring you a gift for your new home. You didn't think to call, though, first, did you? We could have done what other mothers and daughters do. Gone shopping together and pick out something we both like. But no, that's not your style. You had to give me a gift with strings attached. Oh, I'm terribly sorry that I interrupted your intimate evening. Next time, I'll call first. You know, that's not what I'm saying, and you know it. All right, all right. Before I buy you a gift, I'll ask your permission. Is that better? Mom, I like surprises just like you do. But when it comes to decorating my own place... Hold on, hold on just a minute. I will take this back. I will return it at the shop. Of course, if you would like to hang it here, not where I want it, where you would like it. Mom, it's a beautiful mirror, but it's not my taste. Not your taste? Look, why don't we go back to the shop together? We'll pick out something we Oh, no, like. no, terrible idea. You see, by accident, I might impose my taste on you, and that would be a catastrophe, wouldn't you know, it? Mom, I'm just trying to be honest. Oh, right. Just as your silent partner commands honesty above all else, right? Oh, oh! perfect. Perfect. On top of everything else, seven years of bad luck. Vicky, I'm serious. I can go out there. I can talk to Izzy and the rest of them. I can calm them all no, down. No, no. The longer we wait, the harder this is going to be. Why don't you just ask them to come in? Thank you. Okay. All right, folks. Come on. Betsy. Gentlemen. Please, have a seat. Uh, Lizzie, why don't you pull up a chair? Of course, would you mind? No, no, no. That's it. 
Yeah. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. Yeah, we're sorry about that, too. There's this thing called a deadline, Vicky. Come on, let her talk. I'm aware of your schedules, Quincy. All right, first of all, Clint and I want you to know how grateful we are to all of you for all the extra hours you've given to the banner during these difficult times. Well, the banner means more than just a job to us, Vicky. I know that, Betsy. In fact, I'm counting on that. Uh-oh. Here it comes. All right, oh, come on, Eddie. Come on, Lee. Take the chip off your shoulder at least, all right? Look, Court, I love the banner just as much as anyone. But I've been around here long enough and bad news is coming. Why don't you just say it, boss? All right. It's not going to come as a surprise to any of you. Banner is facing hard times. <laughs> Tell me about it. Yeah, I heard Logan's department store is cutting back its advertising. I mean, they practically support the fashion page. Well, you heard right, yes. In fact, ever since the strike, a lot of our advertisers have been looking elsewhere. You mean the intruder? Unfortunately, yes, Izzy. But now that the banner's back to full speed, the advertisers will be coming back, won't they? I don't know. Dorian Lord is not an idiot, you know. In fact, she's a very shrewd businesswoman. She's cut her ad rates to rock bottom. Yeah, but she can't be making much money that way. She's not making a penny. But you don't know Dorian. She's more concerned with watching the banner suffer than she is helping the intruder. Whoa. I always knew that Broad was a, a witch, even though she does have a great pair of legs. Hey, Eddie, you ever think about anything uh, besides women? Yeah, money. I can land a great-looking babe without it. Do you think we could get back to the business at hand? Well, my business is fashion, Vicky. How can I keep readers informed of what's hot and what's not if I can't get to Paris? Yeah, and how am I supposed to get the lowdown in Washington if I can't afford the top restaurants where the movers and shakers eat? Oh. Same here. Since we cut back, I've had to book cheaper hotels, which means I'm out of the center of things. I hate not staying where the teams stay. Come on, come on. We all have our own laundry list. I've got my complaints, but... Well, then tell you know, her, is Yeah, it? let's get this settled on, once and for all. Come on, now. Time out here, folks. Come on, Vicky is the one who called this meeting. Why don't you let her say her piece, huh, please? Okay, guys, you want the bottom line? I have to ask you all to take a pay cut. What? Huh? I'm... I'm sorry, it's gotta be 10% for maybe six months. Maybe, Vicky. The political conventions will be here before you know it. Now, things are already heating up out there, and you're asking me to take a pay cut? Yeah. <sighs> I can barely afford to compete with the fashion magazines as it is. I'll lose all credibility. Look, I understand I'm asking you all to make a sacrifice. It is a temporary sacrifice. It's certainly nothing that the rest of our, us are doing, okay? Clint and I have cut our salaries to minimum. So what? You still share in the profits. No, we do not, Eddie. Any profits that come off the banner now are going right back into the banner. They are earmarked for staff salaries. That's a fine gesture, Vicky. Izzy, we feel that the banner is worth it. I sure hope the rest of you feel the same way. Please think about it, all right? We need you on our side. We need you to stay with us for the simple reason that we really think you guys are the best. Not fair. You train those baby blues on me, boss. I'm a goner. Come on, Eddie. Come on. Vicky, we'll think about it. Thanks, Quincy. No promises. Uh, that's right, I understand. Thank God that's over. Might not be over, though, might it? Oh, God, what if I lose them all? What if they all decide to walk? Well, you two really brighten up the place. Oh, well, darling, the feeling is absolutely mutual. <laughs> I always have a brighter day after I leave here. Yeah, uh, me too. <laughs> well, thanks. Um, all the uh, specials are available, and I'll bring your drinks right away. Um, oh, but, uh, but don't bother with the drinks just yet. Uh, why don't you sit down and visit with us for a while? That's really nice of me, but um, I'm really kind of busy here, and uh, I'll come by in a little later. Okay? Oh, that's a shame, because I was just wondering, uh, have you heard from... Jake and Megan? Oh, yeah, I have. They called from L.A. last night, and uh, they're uh, having a great time, but they're coming home tomorrow. Oh, how couldn't they after that great wedding? That was great, Yeah, huh? pretty sensational. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> Megan looked so beautiful. Yeah. As a matter of fact, we all did. Yeah. <laughs> but you, 
you had the most interesting piece of jewelry. It was so unusual. You know, I was so touched when you showed me your mother's picture in that locket and her lock of hair. I mean, it's such a charming old custom, you isn't know, it? You know, Andy, Renee told me about that. I would really love to see the locket, really. Really? Yeah. Well, I could go up to my apartment and get it when I bring back the drinks. And... Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks. It's so <laughs> special. Okay. <Thanks. laughs> Andy. Oh. Just the person I'm looking for. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm really busy. I can't talk to hey, you. Hey, hey, don't run on. I haven't even seen you since the wedding. And I've got something for my old buddy that I think she'll like very much. No, thanks. Andy, what's wrong? Are you mad at me? If you like Rice Krispies, try new triples. I'm, I'm not mad, and I'm also not your buddy. Men are buddies. I'm a woman. Well, yeah, I noticed that right away. Yeah, well, that's what I'm talking about, Hunter. What? Forget it. Forget it. Andy, uh, we need you in the kitchen fast. Fine. See, look, I have a lot of business to take care of. Uh, see you later, okay? Uh, yeah, I've been looking for you. How you doing? Oh, Hi, Renee. Wow, what a day it's been. Excuse me. Um, yeah, one of those for us, too. I think I'll go and freshen my makeup. I'll be right back. Oh, Bye. okay. Well, I guess I'm not the only one who's been under the gun today. Are you all right? What's wrong? No, I'm fine. Just missed you an awful lot. Cord, you're at the banner and everything, and I... Uh, is everything okay? No, Tina, not really. It's not. Listen, I, I, I gotta ask you something that's very important now, all right? And, uh... I need you to do me a favor. Honey, is there anything that I would deny you? Nothing. No, Tina, I'm serious about this. What would you do if I were to tell you that the only way we could save the banner is if I and everybody else there takes a very large pay cut? Now, now wait, before you answer, um, you gotta know it's gonna affect everything. It's gonna affect our plans for the new house. It's gonna affect the kids. It's gonna affect everything. We're not gonna have the money to buy the things that we would normally get. Do you understand all this, Tina? I mean, before you answer, you got to think about it. Sweetheart, I don't have to think about it. I'm absolutely 100% sure. If you think it's the right thing to do, then, then I'm all for it. Does that answer your question? Have I told you how amazing you are? Yes, but you could say it again if you want. You're amazing. Too. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Listen, uh, I'm sorry, i got to run. OK, bye, Cord. Bye-bye. <laughs> bye. I'm sorry, Vicky. They're still in the conference room. But you have a visitor, um, Alex Olinoff. Do you want me to tell her you're busy? I don't know. I got time. Ask her to come in, please. Miss Olinoff? Hi, Vicky. Thank you so much for seeing me. No problem. <laughs> Happy to take a break. I'm going to go and see how the powwow's going. Thanks a lot. Come on in. Sit down. Thank you. Well, I, I know you're busy, and I won't take long. As you know, <laughs> Bo and I are working on that full-page ad in the banner that Asa requested. Oh, oh, that's the one about the, the new wing for the hospital is to raise money. That's a good cause, yes. Right. The trouble is we keep getting interrupted. We were supposed to work on it tonight, and I can't seem to track him down. So I was wondering if you would please give him these notes. Sure, I'll put them on his desk. He'll get them first thing in the morning. Great. Alex, can I help? I mean, something's wrong. Is it both? It's really me. Well, it's him, too. Maybe it's just us. I'm sorry, Vicky. Thank you. All right, all right. I just ruined everything. First, I get you a gift that you don't even want, then I manage to break it. Of course, you never want to see me again. Mom, stop it. Oh, no, I just want to tell you how sorry I am about the whole I thing. I know what you're trying to do. You've done it my whole life. It doesn't matter what I feel about this mirror, you're going to keep apologizing until I feel worse than you do. Do I have you to thank for this? Hmm? Filling my daughter's head with all that psycho babble? Leave him out of it. I'm the one who's finally realized what's wrong with our relationship. Relationship? We don't have a relationship, Kathy. We are a family. Oh, please. This, this, this man is trying to come between us. He hasn't done that. Who? 
got you the job at the banner? Who found you this apartment? Who has been trying to influence you ever since you came to town? Look, no, but Dorian. Would you Shh. stop? Would you stop ganging up on me? Please, it's quite obvious who wants to influence everyone. Bo, and if you need that beyond a mother's love, then have a wonderful time tonight. Good night. About your mother. Can we please not talk about her for one evening? Yeah. I want to have dinner and a glass of wine. And above all, I want peace and quiet. Fine, fine. Let me, I'll help you out. No, I'll do it. You can pour the wine. What happened? It's nothing. It's just a nick. No, well, let me see. Let me see. Yeah, maybe. Looks like uh, Dorian's drawn blood again. <sighs> Bo, I said it was nothing. You didn't have to all right, do all right. it. Just one second. I'm almost finished. There. All better now. Better get back to the salad here. Yeah, well, here, let me help you out. You know who has it great? Besides me, you mean? <laughs> Thanks. But I was thinking of Kevin, Joey, and Jessica. Yeah, they're good kids. <laughs> you know why? It's no accident. No, of course not. They got me for an uncle. And Vicky as a mother? Yeah, well, don't forget Clint. I mean, he did, uh, did some help out uh, a little bit there, didn't he? No question there. But with a mother like Vicky. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. I hope I can be as good a mother. I want to have at least three kids, maybe four. How about you? Oh, well, I, uh, I want to get married first, then the, the kids come later, see? I'm kind of old-fashioned. Sarah and I, that's uh, what we're going to do. Still hard to talk about her? Uh, yeah, it is, most of the time, except with you. Go figure, huh? You must be able to talk about it with Alex. Well, yeah, but it's different with Alex. See, she worked so hard to, uh, to help me find Sarah. I, I guess she felt the loss, too. Anyway, we, we tend to kind of avoid that subject. You know, I invited Alex to join us tonight. Did you? Yeah, as a way of saying thanks for bringing some of my stuff over. But she had other plans. Yeah, well, Alex, uh, Alex is a, a busy woman, you know. Listen, I got the wine poured and everything. Why don't we just sit down and just uh, have a little sip of this, huh? Thanks. You know, you were right when you said you had it great. I'm such a beautiful and trusting woman in your life. Well, Cassie, I thought we were just friends. <laughs> I was talking about Alex. You know, when two people grow as close as you do, all that talk about family becomes more than just talk. Cassie, um... Yeah? <clears throat> why don't, let's, let's just uh, drink a toast, okay? Here's to the future, and whatever it brings. It's no go, Vicky. It's no go. Look, I can take a pay cut. It hurts, but I can manage. The others, they feel they can't. Nothing personal, boss. It's just that we've worked too long and too hard to get where we are. To give it up now would mean I... It's better to go out there and find other work than to settle for less. It's just smart business, Vicky. We still think the world of you in the banner. I hope you understand. Yeah, sure, I understand. I don't like it a lot. But I appreciate the fact that you've given it a lot of consideration before you made this decision. Well, even if Izzy stays, I guess Clint and I will have to double up or uh, maybe go it alone. I don't know what the future holds for the banner. I'll tell you one thing, though. When, and I'm saying when, not if, when things improve, I'd like you all to come back back. Wait a minute, who's going anywhere? Eddie, Quincy, and Betsy feel they can't uh, accept my offer. They're moving on. No hard feelings, Cord? No, no, sure, Eddie. Listen, I, I gotta tell you people something. 
Vicky and Clint have poured every dime that they have got into this paper, and if it goes under, they're gonna go with it. Look, I'm gonna take the pay cut. Uh, and, and not just because this is my family here, but because I believe in the banner. And most importantly, I believe in Vicky and Clint. But I, I can't tell you what to do here, but I can ask you to take a chance. Just a chance. Come on, people. I mean, uh, none of us are married here, right? We don't have mortgages or tuition bills to They're pay. They're still our careers, yeah. Izzy. How's it going to look on our resume that we settled for less? Well, you tell me, Eddie. How does it look on your resume that you got a job or you don't? That you, that you uh, helped a darn good newspaper survive or that you let it go down? I'll take the cut in pay. Oh. If I can go to Paris for the next show. Are you serious? Oh, bless you, Betsy. Thank you. All right, I'll give in. <laughs> but only if you hire two lawyers the next time I go to jail for withholding my sources. <laughs> no, you got three lawyers. Oh, Quincy, thank you. Thank you. That leaves you, Eddie. <sighs> I want my first class hotels back. Business class. You always get the best of me. <laughs> oh, Eddie, thank you. All right. Oh, you guys will never know. Thank you. Thank you. So it's all settled. Yeah. We're in. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We're in. All right. This is great. Thank you so much. Listen. Uh, hey, come on. We got a paper to run, folks. Let's go. Let's <laughs> get moving, huh? All right. All right. Thank all right. you, guys. Thank you. Oh, they did it. <laughs> oh, thank you. So, Alex, are you sure you don't want to join us? No, I'd be lousy company. Thank you. Gosh, I wonder what's bothering her today. It's me. But if Annie doesn't come out from that kitchen and go upstairs and get that lock uh, up uh, soon, uh, I don't uh, know uh, what. Tina. Easy does it. Remember, you told me cool as a cucumber. <sighs> Thank you. Just, just give me a minute with the menu, please. May I recommend the grilled chicken? In that case, I'll have the lamb. You're still put on with me, aren't you, Alex? No. I hate your guts. Goodbye, Dwayne. <laughs> I printed a retraction. These mistakes happen. Look, I am so sorry if I caused you any pain. I believe that. I believe you only wanted to sell newspapers and have some revenge on Bo. And if I got hurt in the process, so be it. Did my story about your romance with Bo ruin things between the two of you? No. As a matter of fact, we are closer now than we've ever been. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Is that why Bo is having an intimate dinner with my daughter, even as we speak? If you don't leave, I will. You know something, Alex? You really should do something about that skin of yours. It has a beautiful pink glow, but it's much too thin. You choke on your dinner. Andy, can you uh, order some mayonnaise? I got 12 sandwiches in the kitchen. Sure, sure, sure. Oh. oh, my God, another delay. All right, if Andy's not going to bring the lock to us, then we got to get the locket from her. Tina, you are ruining that stocking. I know, that's the idea. Excuse me, Renee. Excuse me, I, I hate to bother you. I know you're really busy, but listen, I have a pantyhose emergency. Do you mind if I run upstairs and get some nail polish from your apartment? Uh, Tina, if you give me a second, it's in the medicine cabinet. I'll no, get no, 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 don't bother. Uh -huh. I, look, just give me the keys. I'll go up there myself. I'll get the polish. I'll make the okay. repair before it gets any right, worse. Right. Great, thank uh -huh. you, thank you. Okay, oh, well, do me a second. Right. Tina, wait, hold it right there. Now that it's allergy Something wrong, Andy? Oh, okay, well, thank you. Um, no, nothing's wrong. Um. I just remembered, though. You don't need to take that trip upstairs. I have an emergency kit right behind the bar, and it has all sorts of things, Band-Aids and aspirin and nail polish. Isn't that clever? Yeah, well, we always try to please our customers, right? You can just um, use the bathroom in the ladies' room and then save yourself a trip up the stairs. Trade, Jeff. Trade. Yeah, uh, nail polish for the keys. Yeah. Yeah. 
course. <laughs> Although, uh, you know, if I could, I would really appreciate the chance to look at that locket. I mean, if you think that you'd have a chance... Oh, well, you know what? Why don't you go fix your hose and I'll go upstairs to the apartment and uh, get it for you. I'm really not that busy. Just that I've been kind of distracted by something. By someone you mean, right? I beg your pardon? Well, I saw you talking to Hunter, and, uh... Don't you think you're a little hard on him, Andy? Tina, I... Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. Do you know where he went? Yeah, he left. That's nice. I'm sorry, Andy. No, hey, sorry. Why, why should you be sorry? We're just pals, you know, friends, buddies. I'm gonna go get that locket. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. Hello, Sunshine. Hello. Did you tell Daddy the good news? I most certainly did. You should see the smile on his face. Now that we've got our old friends at the banner staying with us, <laughs> we are going to make it, Jesse. Oh, I sent Heron out on an errand. Oh, then I'll get it. Thank you, darling. Uh, you've probably seen enough of me for one night. I just thought I should apologize for running out of your office the way I did today. Oh, don't be silly. I'm having a glass of sherry. Will you join me? Oh, I'd love to. Good. Sit Thanks. down. Sit down. Uh, Jessie, why, why don't you take Emily Ann on up to your room, sweetheart? Oh, no, no. Not on my account. I love dolls. And this one is so sweet. Well, Emily Ann is the perfect name for her. Yeah, tell Joey. He thinks I'm too old for dolls. Well, your brother is absolutely wrong. Well, I still play with dolls. You do? Well, sure. Here you go. Oh, thank you. You're thank welcome. you. As a matter of fact, when I was 10 years old, my daddy gave me a doll house. And he made it himself in his shop. And it had all these rooms with miniature furniture and a doll family for each room. What a fabulous present. <laughs> yes, it was. It was the last thing that he gave me before, well, before his work took him away. And I loved it so much that I still have it. Of course, it's in a closet now, but you know what? If you would like to borrow it, I'd like to bring it over to you. Would I ever, Mom? Darling, if it's all right with Alex, yes, you may say yes, and you may say thank you. Thanks, Alex. You're welcome. I'd like to be able to pass it on to my own little girl someday. Honey Munch, dinner is going to be ready in, uh, or I guess about 10, 15 minutes. Why don't you go wash up? Okay, I'll be down in a minute. Thanks again, Alex. You're welcome. Bye. She is so wonderful, Vicky. Thank you. That was very sweet of you to offer her your dollhouse. Well, it's not doing any good in the closet. Your remark about uh, having a little girl of your own one day, that was really from the heart, wasn't it? It's always been a dream of mine. At the rate things are going, I may have to adopt. Y you feel that strongly about it? Does Bo know this? Well, no. And I couldn't tell him or I'd lose him for sure. You think Megan was nervous? You should have seen old Jake. Everyone said he was so cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jake, he was just Mr. Ice until it occurred to him that he was really going to tie the knot. Then all of a sudden he <laughs> turns green and he heads right for the camp. <laughs> what is it about a wedding? It turns sophisticated women like Megan into crybabies and... Macho men like Jake into little boys. Excuse me. I seem to recall that you were doing a good impersonation of a crybaby yourself. <laughs> so okay, so I cried a little bit. A little bit? They're not going to have to water a plant in the church <laughs> for, for quite a while now. What is wrong with crying at weddings? It's a time-honored custom. It is a time-honored cliche. Women always <laughs> cry at weddings. Like it's expected. I don't, I don't get it. You really want to get into this? Yeah, if you've got some answers for me, sure. No, I don't have answers. I have more questions. The problem isn't why women cry at weddings. The problem is why men don't. It's because men realize it's a happy occasion. 
So why would you cry? <laughs> Typical male reaction. No, no, Cassie, that's called logic. You call it logic. I'll call it denial. Uh, I beg your pardon? Men stop themselves from crying at weddings because they don't want to face up to what's really happening. Oh, yeah, I guess you realize your, your days of freedom are over, so uh, you can shed a tear over that. Now who's indulging in cliches? I'm sorry. Continue, Professor. Women cry because they know what a wedding's all about. What, thank you notes? It's leaving the nest and starting to build a new one. Birds do it, bees do it, even Buchanan's do it. <laughs> it's leaving the security of your home and setting out on into the unknown and creating a family of your own. You make it sound like some kind of an adventure. Well, that's what it is, an adventure of a lifetime. It's happy, it's sad, it's beautiful and it's terrifying and if you're lucky it only happens once but even if it happens more than once it's still leaving the certainty of your family and plunging into a new life with all your heart all your dreams and all your hopes that isn't worth crying over i don't know what is well aren't you going to say something yeah you're right. Everything you just said is is exactly right. Except it just leaves uh, leaves a question, one question unanswered for me. If marriage means so much to you, then why didn't you ever do it again? The truth? Mm-hmm. Because it scares me to death. Thank goodness you're all listening. I have an announcement that will not... Cassie Callison, afraid. You gotta be kidding me. I wish. Hey, I was over there in Mendora with you. I saw you in action, Cassie. You were fearless. <laughs> that was just life and death. Marriage is a lot more terrifying. Uh-huh. What you're thinking about you and Rob right now. I see. Look, you two, you were just kids back then. You didn't know what to expect. Still, we got married and it failed. You... I failed. No, no, you made a mistake, a youthful mistake that you can learn from. How could you be afraid of that? It's not just my history. It's my chromosomes. Your what? Look at my mother. Mm -hmm. Her whole life she's had trouble with men. First there was my father. She, she did everything she could to ruin things with David. And then there was Herb, and that blew up in her face. Okay, 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 and okay. Right now you're trying to convince yourself, it sounds to me like, like, like something is wrong with you. What, are you allergic to love now? Well, that's exactly it. I'm surprised I don't break out sneezing and in a rash every time a new man shows up in my life. Look, just because Dorian has had a hard time finding a little bit of happiness in her life, that doesn't mean that you're doomed to fall into her footsteps. Your problem couldn't be simpler. Oh, you don't say. And what's your diagnosis, Dr. Bow? You haven't found the right guy. <laughs> that's it. Yes, that's everything. Cassie, sooner or later, you are going to meet up with the right guy. And then all your doubts, they're just, they're gonna disappear, just like that. And of course, I will show up at your wedding and I will be whispering to you, see, I told you so. Crying? No, laughing at you and your chrome.